It's a beautiful afternoon in Marshall, Texas, and thank you for clicking in today at Go ETB Tigers for another edition of ETBU Extra, broadcasting live from the Ornella Student Center on the campus of East Texas Baptist University. Now we turn our attention to Tiger basketball, and our guest now is the head coach of the Tigers, Burt West. And, and Coach, you finally finished that grueling part of your schedule where, where you spent all those games on the road, and, and and you put yourself in a position to clinch the American Southwest Conference East Division over the weekend, and that's got to be a big plus for you and your Tigers. That was, that was fun. That was exciting for the Tigers to clinch the East, hang a banner. We'll hang a banner for that. And uh, the only thing we didn't get accomplished, we wanted to go undefeated in the East, and, and we lost that one-point game at Dallas. But uh, that doesn't take any shine off what the kids have accomplished, and we just it's time to reset anyway. I, I know a one-point loss to UT Dallas there and a chance to make – a bucket at the end and possibly win. How big of a letdown is that for the team, or is that just something that happens and you got to keep going forward? You know, this team has done a great job of staying focused and uh, staying after it and staying in the in the present. And, you know, we were irritated about it. We we just didn't take it all that hard. We, we knew uh, it was all about the Tigers, and we didn't quite get it done. And uh, we talked about it, talked about what we, what we could have done better, and, and uh, we moved on quickly. Of course, now you have your last regular season home game at home against Bellhaven University, a new team into the American Southwest Conference. The game does not count uh, toward any conference records. Uh, they come into the gym Thursday night to play you at 730. But before we kind of talk about Bellhaven, you will be honoring uh, some players of yours that have, well, they're in their senior season. And, and, it's, and it's time to say thank you for your hard work for Tiger basketball. Yeah, these seniors have uh, accomplished much. They have been through much. They have come through uh, every challenge with flying colors. They've setting a, a, a legacy for our program and setting the tone for future success. And uh, these are a great bunch of guys, great bunch of seniors. And uh, they'll, they'll be missed, but they're, they're definitely leaving their mark. I'm going to put you on the spot. Go through that list of seniors and tell me why you want to miss them. Well, first, um, David Lewis, you know, but didn't get to play because of health reasons. And he stayed around and, and assisted the program uh, from the side, being a student assistant coach, and, and great guy, just a wonderful person, and do anything to help. Uh, Jamil Samuel, you know, got to play the first semester. Uh, probably would have been player of the year if he played the entire year. And another, just a wonderful person. He, I feel like he's part of my family. Um, I think, uh, Chad Hearing, Chad, we thought had another year of eligibility and did not. Chad also has helped work with post players and helped and just, you know, been a quality helper. And then we have little uh, Anthony Davis, a uh, Louisiana guy, played Juco by Mississippi, was uh, really coming on for us last year and had that horrific knee injury and has bounced back. And he's not always good two days in a row, but uh, he is always as good as he can be and, and a great teammate. Uh, Brett Atkins, oh, what a success story he was. Transferred to us uh, from a Division II program and just was having a hard time getting a chance to play. One of the hardest workers I've ever coached. Great young man. Uh, got his chance to play and has proven that he absolutely can play. Just an outstanding player on both ends of the floor. Um, trying to think where we are. I think there's two more. And so the kid from Marshall, Texas. Yeah, Hoist Junior Mitchell. Uh, we, he goes into beast mode every now and then, and, and uh, it's that time of year for him. And he seldom gets out of beast mode right now. And uh, he's accomplished so much uh, academically, athletically, uh, has become a great leader of our team. And uh, he's another one, you know, I'm just going to miss him tremendously. And we made it down to uh, one more. Somebody from, from Paris, not France, but Texas. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Eric Horton. That is what the Tigers are all about. Eric, uh, a four-year player, has worked his way up through the program from a freshman that didn't play until a guy now that uh, against UT Dallas in the biggest game of the year gets uh, – five block shots, 14 rebounds, and just playing like a grown man in there. And that just thrills my heart to see a guy stay with it and work hard and it pay off for him. So the Tigers senior will be honored on the last regular season game of the year Thursday at Ornellis as the Tigers host Belhaven University, a new member of the American Southwest Conference. So, Coach, now we can officially look ahead past Belhaven because you know you've got a spot in the postseason tournament of the American Southwest Conference. So Ross State University, the winner of the West, will be hosting the tournament this year. You're the number one seed from the ASA East, but you don't know who you're going to play yet because they've got to finish out games on Saturday. But kind of give us a preview of the conference tournament coming up. Well, my mindset is we will not overlook Bellhaven. That is senior night. That's the most important game 
on the schedule as far as I'm concerned at this point. So I really want the seniors to focus and play well, and, and we want to take care of that for them. Uh, it, it will be either Howard Payne or Mary Harden Baylor. Howard Payne beat us down there by two points. We beat Mary Harden Baylor by three on our court. Neither one will be an easy game. At the moment, Mary Harden Baylor is moving forward, and uh, they're on a, a push doing better, and Howard Payne has lost three in a row. And it, they don't play each other, but Saturday will tell the tale, and Soil Ross goes to Howard Payne. They have clinched. I don't know if that'll make a difference. Howard Payne's fighting to get in, and Sol Ross is already hosting. Who knows what will happen? And then in the other game, it's uh, Harden Simmons will be at Mary Harden Baylor, and uh, Harden Simmons is well ahead in the standings. But they historically had a very difficult time winning in Belton. So we're not going to know until Saturday night who we play. And as soon as you find that out, when do you start working out the team? Can you work out on Sunday? Or you got to wait till Monday. Well, it's all about the Tigers. We've seen those people before. The preparation we'll make for them will be uh, uh, somewhat minor because we've already prepared for everyone either once or twice. So it's all about the Tigers. It's Tigers getting in the right mindset and, and getting just a little bit better. Well, Coach Wetz, any final words before we let you leave today? No, uh, the Tigers are trying to get ready. That's all we got. Well, in honor of the Spirit Day on campus today, a lot of folks are wearing jerseys like you are today. and. And, and I, I wore my championship ring from last year's ASC Tournament Championship and elite e to basketball team. So best of the Tigers as you head to the conference tournament. But first, take care of Bellhaven tomorrow night. That's right. And we're all about the Tigers. That's right. All about the Tigers. Coach, thank you for your time today on e to Extra. And, of course, tomorrow night on the e to Sportsnet, you can hear the ladies' game beginning at 530 and the men's game at 730 as well. Just go to the game day page tomorrow. Go e to Tigers to watch the Lady Tigers and the Tigers play tomorrow at Ornelas. Don't go away. We need to talk about Lady Tiger basketball. They're in the conference tournament as well. That's coming up next after we talk to Janae Shirley, the head softball coach of East Texas Baptist University. That's next on ETVU Extra.